All right, we are back again, and we're going to do go uh, run Danny and Zoe through another passing series. Um, this one, same setup. We've got a triangle here. I just widened the first two cones out a little bit. Um, Danny's going to be passing through this first set on these first couple. Zoe will take it to the outside, pass it back. Uh, we're going to cut down on the talking here and get them right into it. So, uh, again, we'll go 45 seconds on this. This will be a little bit shorter series because there's not quite as many activities with this one. But we're going to go 45 seconds starting now. Okay, so Danny passes through the gate. Zoe takes a touch to, uh, to the top of the triangle. Or just past that next cone. So she's working back and forth. All right. So again, Danny's kind of showing if we've got a soccer player as our partner or a sibling that plays the game that can serve for us with the feet. Um, but if not, then a parent could get on their knees and, and roll the ball in as well. Okay, make this a little more challenging. All right, keep working. I'll fix it. Right, so we can make it a little more challenging if Danny gets up a little bit closer. All right, she can play it in a little bit sooner. Force Zoe to get around the cones a little bit quicker. And time. All right, Danny, you're up. And Zoe, why don't you go down on your knees? Zoe's going to serve this in from her hands. Make it a little bit more parent-like or non-soccer partner-like. All right. Ready? And play. So Danny's a lefty, Zoe's a righty. So obviously both of them been off a little while with what's going on. They haven't been able to train with their teams. Um, Danny's actually coming off a little bit of an injury break with some plantar fasciitis, but she's been cleared to, to play. But So she's been off quite a while. There's a little bit of rust to shake off. But again, like we talked about last week with our videos, you know, we want the kids to have some, some desirable difficulties and have to work through some things. So um, it's good for them to see players at this high of a level, uh, a level that a lot of our girls want to attain. And time. We went about five seconds long there. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing, but we'll go to two touch. All right, so we're working up to the, or I'm sorry, we're going outside of the foot. I uh, flashed back to our last video. Okay, so now it's an outside of the foot first touch. All right, ready, play. So service is the same way, it's through the gate. And we're taking a touch to the outside. Now we're using the outside of our foot to take the touch. You know, and a good way maybe to start too with some of our youngest players is to not prescribe the touch they have to take with their first touch, but just have them work around, play with whatever foot's comfortable. Um, you know, there's some varying thoughts on skill acquisition and, and how we go through it and should it be done in a, a more game-like scenario with defenders and all that and just let the kids figure it out as they go. But, um, you know, at some point we do want to teach them the specifics of each surface and, and help them correct any issues they may have. So things like this, especially in this time of, of our society where, you know, they're forced to be isolated and working on their own. Um, it's a great opportunity to get some skill acquisition in without the pressures of a defender and really hone in on the basics. You know, how do I, how do I perfect that outside of the foot touch? And time. We went way over on that one, sorry. We went 10 seconds over on that one as I went on a, a rambling diatribe about technical work. All right, ready, Danny? And play. Fifteen seconds. Time. All right. Now it's still going to be two touch, and the first pass is through the gate. You can take it on the back foot this time. All right. So now the, the first touch is have to travel across your body to the outside of that cone. Ready? Play. Danny played into her back foot. Yep. Zoe can take that touch out there you go, Zoe. Yep. across her body.
Ten seconds, oh. Time. All right, this is where we switch up a little bit. Now the, the serve will be to the top, outside the top cone. Or oh, I'm sorry, no, you gotta go again, don't you? My bad. All right, ready, and go. So same thing here. Dan's gonna take it off the back foot. I got a little ahead of myself. seconds. Time. All right, so now we'll switch it up and we'll go uh, past to the outside, so cut it back. Okay, and you can go any surface it comes to, it might be inside of the foot or outside of the foot to cut it back. Ready? Fight. There's a number for that. <laughs> Now we're making them work a little bit harder. Get around all the way to the top of the cone. Server plays it to the outside of that cone and the worker takes it back inside, passes it back through the gate. time all right Danny's up ready and play yep just like that no no crush yet so if you're doing this on your own too when you're working out for 45 seconds hard like this um, like these two are, it's a two to one work to rest ratio, even though the, the rest is still a little bit active. Um, but depending on your fitness level, you might want a two to one or a three to one work to rest. So, you know, we're working hard for 45 seconds. You might want to take, um, you know, a minute and a half off, or you might want to, if you're feeling pretty fit, take 45 seconds off and be active or just have downtime. Doesn't really matter. Um, it really depends on your fitness level for each one of you that's out there doing this on your own. Almost there, Danny. One more in, one more, and time. All right, now we're gonna go to the Cruyff. So Zoe's gonna work all the way to outside of the cones, Cruyff it back inside and, and pass back to Danny. Ready, play. So now we're playing it behind her standing foot. Maybe you wanna serve it in a little bit softer on this one. This isn't a, a technique you're gonna to wanna to use if the ball's coming in really hard. We're trying to play it with the inside of our foot behind our standing foot. Yep. Now we see there's other passing techniques we could use. We could have had them use the sole of their foot here. We'll get into that in some of our other oh, techniques. Here, here, here. New ball. Yep. Outside. And time. Danny's up. Ready? Play. So we touched on Zoe being a, a center back. Danny is a six or a holding mid. Um, kind of, kind of wanders a little bit. Maybe not a true six necessarily, right, Danny? Not a true six, yeah. <laughs> not a true eight either, uh, but a very, very strong midfield player. Her vision is outstanding. Her ability to play the ball to any part of the field uh, is outstanding. She can she can hit every corner of the park, um, bend balls, play balls, float balls, balls over back lines, 
uh, drive balls over back lines, play them through on the ground. Uh, she's got a great partnership with Cameron Evans at Michigan State and uh, is able to, to turn and find Cameron with just about any kind of pass you could want. That's all right. Time. That was in your, your 10 seconds over, just like Zoe was, so you're tired. We'll blame it on that. All right, now it's server's choice. So, Danny, you get to serve it in either side of the cone. All right, and Zoe's got to react differently. So we're trying to add a little bit of a decision-making aspect in here. Okay, ready, and play. We're letting Danny decide where the ball gets served. Zoe can use whatever technique she wants. But if Danny plays it to the outside of the cones, then Zoe's got to take it back and play through. If Danny plays through, that's all right. That's a nice little twist. I like that. I might add that in. Again, if Danny plays through the gate, then Zoe's got to take it to the outside. And if, if Danny plays to the outside, Zoe has to take it back and play through the gate. So just adding a little bit of uh, a mental side to it, making them think a little bit more and not, not get so robotic. And time. Good. I don't know. I like that little twist on that one. Body make that cone. All right. Danny's up. Ready? And play. Oh, see, I was going to do it too. There's also a bit of a reaction, oh. a reaction time aspect to this. The receiving player is not sure exactly which side of the cone they're going to play to, so they have to react quickly. It's to the outside. Can they get their body out there in time to get a good touch on the ball? Come on, keep working, Danny. Keep working. Yeah. 15 more seconds. Get one more in. One more in. That's fine. And time. All right. Last one here. So this is where you'll be a little bit closer. We're going to go as quick as we can. Okay. So it's always got to hop. Try to get our body to both sides of the cone. I don't want you to just kind of stand there and do this. Okay. Just like we were working. We'll only go 30 seconds on this because it's a lot, lot quicker. All right. Ready? And play. There you go. Good rhythm now. There you go. There you go. Good. They're both on the balls of their feet, ready to go. Parent could be down on their knees serving this. We're only going to go 30 seconds and time. Good. And for a soccer playing partner, it might be just as much work almost as the server as it is as the worker. All right, ready? Play. Let's see if they can get in a good rhythm again here. But notice that they're forced to use both feet. Even the receiving player, or the, the supposed server. If you watch Zoe's feet while she's doing this, she's constantly moving her feet, getting ready to serve. So even though we kind of have a worker and a server here, it's hard to tell the difference. 10 seconds. Just keep working, side to side. Time. All right, and that is it for that series as well. So that's a quick one. Um, like I said, they're working a little bit harder on that one. There's a lot more footwork involved. Um, so there's not quite as many activities, but obviously you can tell they're, they're both sweating and they're both breathing hard. Um, so again, you might do that one a couple of times, three times as a set and mix it in between some other, other parts of a workout. Um, you could also go through the first set and then jump right into this one as well. It's kind of the same setup. All we did was stretch out these first two cones a little bit to create more of a gate. Um, for the players, but also then create a little bit higher workload as they have to get out to the top of this cone. So hope you guys are enjoying these. Uh, if you've got any suggestions or things you want to see us do, uh, go ahead and send me an email, but we've got two more passing series to get out to you. Uh, so until then, thanks guys. Appreciate it.